HACIP stands for Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points. It's a system. It helps us find and control food safety problems. We can prevent problems before they happen. HACIP is like a recipe for safe food. Think of HACIP as a set of safety nets. We place them at specific points in the food process. These nets catch potential hazards. These hazards could make people sick. Examples are bacteria and viruses. HACCP is used worldwide. Restaurants, grocery stores, and food factories all use it. It protects consumers and builds trust in food businesses. HACCP is proactive, not reactive. We don't wait for problems to occur. We identify potential dangers. We take steps to minimize those dangers. This ensures the food we eat is safe. HACCP training is essential. Everyone involved with food handling needs it. This includes managers and employees. Training ensures everyone understands their role. Training covers food safety principles. It teaches about biological, chemical, and physical hazards. Employees learn to identify and control these hazards. Effective training is interactive. It involves hands-on activities and real-life scenarios. This approach helps employees retain information. Training is not a one-time event, it requires regular refreshers and updates, new hazards emerge, regulations change, continuous learning is key to maintaining a strong food safety culture. In a HACCP system, everyone has a role. Managers set the tone, they provide resources and support for food safety practices. They ensure employees receive proper training. Employees are the front line of defense. They handle food directly. They must follow procedures diligently. They are responsible for reporting any potential hazards. Clear communication is vital. Everyone needs to understand their responsibilities. They need to know how to communicate concerns effectively. This fosters a culture of accountability. Everyone must work together. This ensures the safety of the food we produce and consume. Section 4. From Farm to Fork. Controlling Hazards Along the Food Chain. Food safety is a shared responsibility. It starts with the farmers who grow our food. It continues through processing, packaging, and distribution. And you know it ends with the final consumer. Each stage of the food chain presents potential hazards. These hazards can contaminate food. Contamination can occur during transportation, storage, or preparation. HACCP addresses hazards at each step. Temperature control is crucial. Proper cooking, cooling, and storage prevent bacterial growth. Personal hygiene and sanitation minimize contamination risks. By controlling hazards at every stage, we ensure food safety from the farm to the fork. Section 5. Practical Steps – Training Activities for HACCP Success HACCP training goes beyond theory, it includes practical activities. These activities reinforce learning and build skills. Working instructions are essential. They provide step-by-step -step guidance for specific tasks. These instructions are clear, concise, and easy to follow. Monitoring procedures are crucial. Employees learn to monitor critical control points. They use thermometers, timers, and other tools. They record their findings diligently. Training also covers corrective actions. Employees learn what to do if a critical limit is not met. This ensures swift action to prevent foodborne illnesses. Section 6. Investing in Safety. The Management's Role in HACCP Training. Management plays a crucial role in HACCP training. They must allocate sufficient time and resources. This demonstrates their commitment to food safety. Providing adequate training time is essential. Employees need time to learn and practice. Rushing through training is counterproductive. Materials and equipment are also vital. This includes training manuals, videos, and hands-on tools. Access to these resources enhances learning and retention. Investing in training is investing in safety. It protects consumers. It protects the business's reputation. It's an investment that pays dividends in the long run.